So, you may notice that I look um, a little bit more glam than usual. I'm just about to head off to the book signing event. I'm really excited. There's going to be Louise Pentland there. I've met her three times now. But she's like the loveliest person ever. She just dyed her hair pink, so I'm excited to see that. And she's pregnant. And I kind of want to get her a card. But then I feel like, is that weird? So, I'm not sure if I'm going to get her a card. Anyway, then there's going to be Lindsay Kelk. Now, Lindsay Kelk is like the second ever, like, adult author I ever read. I read Sophie Kinsella first, and then I read Lindsay Kelk and her heart, I Heart series made me like almost fall in love with reading because I loved it that much um, and I've got all her books and I've read them all apart from the last one and then there's Paige Toon now I haven't read any of her books yet so I kind of feel a bit bad but I have ordered her last book and I have got it and I'm taking it to sign I'm also taking Lindsay Kelk's latest book I'm not taking Louise Pentland's latest book because I actually bought a signed copy so um, yeah I didn't want to get it signed twice and I left it at home, that was the main reason I like I would have probably taken it to have it like personalised but um, it's at the farm so I don't have it but yeah I'm really excited, I'm wearing Louise Pentland's top um, this is from her Simply Be collection I'll leave my lookbook to that below that is one of my most proudest videos because it took so much work to do um, and I'll also leave a link to the Louise live show that I went to see but yeah, I'm really excited. It should be fun. There's supposed to be like canapes and drinks and then a Q&A and then a meet and greet and signing. So I'm excited. I will see you at the book launch. Book. The book signing event. It's just 20 minutes down the road so I'm just going to walk. But hopefully it doesn't rain because my hair, I mean I've been French parting it recently. Because I don't, I for some reason gave my mum my dry, hair dryer so I didn't have one. So I've been letting it air dry and then French parting it. And it looks really cute today. Like sometimes it looks a bit odd like with all the kinks but it looks nice so I'm gonna put on some lip sets I think I'm gonna try and bombshell I'm gonna finish doing my eyes and then I'm gonna try on Sophie's highlighter so I will see you in a minute it's gone really sunny all of a sudden um so hopefully the rain will hold off don't know if you can see because it is super sunny oh is it better over here I just put on some bombshell and I'm ready to go this like swanky little book to do for like book bloggers like like people really into books i did this bit and told the whole story because i didn't realize that that's not what you do so i ended up being like and then they died and then, by the way that's not the end but basically it's called the end and they were all just like what's this writer and okay so mine um is not about me but it is about a glamorous single mother <laughs> and a six-year-old daughter. Um, I've written about the only thing I know. All of her, she, she basically believes that the only time you ever really love wholeheartedly is with first love, because after that, every time you fall in love with somebody, you kind of then take a little piece of your heart, and you never fully get it back. And so her boyfriend says to her, why don't you like turn this into a book? She's a travel writer, you can like, travel around the world, and you know, find these men and demand they give you the piece of their heart back. And so she thinks, okay, this is great, you know, I'm going to get a book deal. And she doesn't get a book deal, but um, her agent who basically speaks to another publisher who says, we love Bridget's um, voice, but we'd like her to ghostwrite the end of, she, we want her to ghostwrite somebody else's book. Um, brave. And I do want to, I feel like I should say, because it's something that comes up a lot, is because um, a lot of people here, I'm sure, know that I, I lived in New York previously. I live in LA now. It sounds very glamorous. Don't hate me. If my ceiling comes in, I want you to feel bad. <laughs> At least for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, I, 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 was, I lived in New York, but um, I actually moved to New York after the books came out. So it's not autobiographical. It was actually like a massive wish of mine. And I wrote it wishing it could happen. 
So I totally understand that idea when people are like, oh, I wish I could do what she did. I'm like, me too. I like had to wait till someone gave me a job and that went badly. But that's another talk for another time. Mm -hmm. uh, like it's a control, yeah. like a <laughs> control ultimate issues. puppet master. Yeah, Louis you are ultimate puppet master. And you're like, oh, yeah, you're going to get with him. And she's going to get, don't die. Oh. I just love it. <laughs> I really love it. I'm quite scared. Yeah. Um, and Robin Wilde is going to go on a wonderful journey throughout the years. It is only a two book deal at the moment, but I am <laughs> available mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for more. That is gonna be, that's going to be the cover quote for your second book. It's like <laughs> Ultimate Puppet Master. Really Ultimate fun. Puppet Master available for more book deals. <laughs> I'm not that busy. <laughs> well, don't don't kill off Kath. I won't. No, no, no. I won't. I have no plans at the moment. Kath is safe. I've got. In, in fact, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Not really um, but in book two, exciting things happen for Kath. Like this is Kath's moment. She wrote the whole section about the emptiness whilst I was like in. Not like a. I'm not like. Oh, is it a really bad news? Because my life is lovely. But when I was feeling like quite raw from a breakup and feeling quite down. So, like quite handy to be like maybe a bit down i mean when life gives you lemons write a bloody book <laughs> that's how the phrase goes so yeah i definitely did pull on my own emotions um but sadly i am not robin um although i will say Darcy's is cooler than lila obviously and i was like oh my god no no Lu lucy in the sky actually like wrote my ex-boyfriend and he was like a compulsive liar and that big feet story is actually real <laughs> After we do see and Scott, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the big beat story. Yeah. <laughs> There's a very bizarre sort of like sequence. I just remember several years later. Did he read later. it and get back to you? Well, I don't know. Like I went out with him when I was, you know, like a teenager. And, oh right. So yeah. I haven't seen him, but I mean, if he has read it, it's going to completely freak him out. Mm. To see him. I'm <laughs> too scared to run with people because you could get sued. <laughs> It's rough because it's like you do it without knowing you're doing it. There are bits of people you know in characters, whether you like it or not, and I don't always know. And then my friends will read it and be like, "That's so and so." Like it's not though, and then I read it back and I'm like, "Oh, it's so." But you two grafted differently to how I did, and I mean, harder to be honest with you. So there's no easy ride when it comes to writing. Though. No, there you isn't. still have to sit no. down and write the book. Of course. Yes, and I'm not saying that's not the case, but it hasn't escaped me that, let's say there's two people who've got a proposal for a book and they go to a publishing house and say, I, I, I really love, if, if both of those proposals are the same, are you going to pick the person with 2.6 million subscribers on YouTube or the one that doesn't have that? Well, I know which one they're going to put, pick because publishing houses have to make money by selling books. So for me, that side has been such a huge blessing because it has been my way to knock on doors. Um, and I'm not naive enough to, to think that that's not how it happened. I'm very grateful, but that doesn't mean that I don't what, put my whole heart and soul into something. Not all the cats I love Bell equally, you can't have a favourite bike. Mm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> does. my boy doesn't burn nice kids. I was thinking about Lila, but Lila's like way too sassy and they haven't got any sass yet, and Corinthia's like, Maybe a bit mean, so they're not that. And Rocket is really handsome and so lovely and a bit, a little, little bit stupid. So I'm going to make him Mr. Ravel. Uh, I'm hey, you've got a nine week old kitten. Yeah, so I woke up on Monday morning and didn't know I was going to get a cat. And mm -hmm. um, what a day! <laughs> <laughs> it was slightly bizarre. My husband comes to me and says, Do you want to get a cat? And I'm like, oh, I've been looking at Lindsay Kelly, it's seriously, it's her fault. We were in Manchester last week. She was showing me these pictures of a cat in this video. She was telling me about the hair of the cat who, who sticks his paw in the other corner of the cupboard and just mm. slides them. I'm like, oh, one of those. Mm. And we will get a dog at some point, but we've been saying to the kids in a couple of years, in a couple of years, in a couple of years. And I'm um, just like, maybe we just need to get a cat. And I saw pictures cat. of yours too. I was like, saying, oh, I like these like, strappy little ones. I quite like these. Yeah. Anyway, he showed me pictures of Russian blues and you know, we read up about a little bit about it. And then we saw there was like nine week old Russian blues being sold literally two villages away. It was like, this is fate. And yeah, by that evening we have a cat. <laughs> so Heidi, so in that time I've had to sort of be thinking about Heidi's personality and like, she's very sociable, um, very friendly little cat, not too scared. I'd say she's a Bridget. Excellent. I changed my mind in like a week. <laughs>
to leave. I'm heading home. Not gonna lie, these cobbles are a bit of a nightmare in wedges. I don't think I actually ever showed you my full outfit, so I ended up wearing my black cardigan, which I love, um, my Louise Pentland Sprinkler Glitter Collection, um, like little cat cami, which I also love, and I'm sure you know because I wear it all the time. Black trousers and my heeled boots. Um, and then obviously my Pandora, my Pandora ring, and my Anna Ciccone necklace. But seriously, what an amazing night. Um, I'm taking my shoes off because they're killing. It was so much fun. Um, I got to meet them all and they all sat down and we all took, they had um, the editors taking photos, which was really nice. Um, so we all got really nice photos and I'm really pleased with how they turn out. But everyone like gave you the time, like they sat and they, chat to, they chatted to us um, and you could have literally spent as long as you wanted there, but I didn't want to like leave anyone. Uh, like make more people wait I mean in that respect and uh, Louise had to leave pretty early well not early but um, she had a taxi booked so um, she was the first one out then Paige finished and then Lindsay was the last one um, all so nice I will be doing a write up on the blog um, I'll leave it linked down below um, and I'll talk about what I spoke about what they spoke about what we talked about um, but obviously you've seen quite a few clips, by this point you're probably noticing that this has made up the full vlog. I will be posting my last week and a half in London next week instead of this week. Um, yeah, it was just amazing, I'm so glad I went, it was definitely worth the £10. They had canapes, they had drinks, the bar was free all night, like you could have got anything. Um, I obviously just got soft drinks but it was amazing. Staff were really nice, authors really nice, it was really nice. Anyway, I really recommend, I'm definitely going to enjoy reading them, or oh, I'll show you their signatures. So I already had um, Louise Pentland's, Louise's book signed, because um, I bought a signed copy, so I didn't bring that one, but I got the other two signed. And I kind of wish I brought Louise's because she could have personalised it, but I didn't, so I'll show you the others. So this one's Lindsay's, and she signed it saying, to Hannah, Lindsay, um, kiss. And then Paige's. Um, to Hannah, love page two. Aww, she has really neat writing.